Hello, you are watching Balahibo Math Genius Riddles. He has an interesting and challenging questions with factorial. 1 factorial times 2 factorial times 3 factorial dot 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 till times 10 factorial times 11 factorial times 12 factorial then divided by m factorial become a square m square find n would you please to submit in this video we share that how to generalize square in factorial items then find the result pause the video and try it while you are ready keep watching the video to get the result Before to sub the questions, let's recap what is factorial. m factorial equal to m times m minus 1 times the number difference 1 with previous numbers means m minus 1 minus 1 equal to m minus 2 then n minus 3 da, 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 to the n 3 times 3 minus 1 equal to 2 times 1. Take an example. 5 factorial equal to 5 times 5 minus 1 equal to 4 times 4 minus 1 equal to 3 times 2 times 1 4 factorial equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and from here we find 5 factorial equal to 5 times 4 factorial da, 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 da. 1 factorial equal to 1 and define 0 factorial equal to 1 okay Back to our questions, 1 factorial times 2 factorial times 3 factorial da 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 times 11 factorial times 12 factorial over m factorial equal to m square. First, multiply m factorial to both sides of our equations. Then, the right side of our equation equal to m factorial times m square. We have m square in it, so I'm going to generate square items from the left side of equations. Okay, then how to do that? Look at the first and the second items. 1 factorial times 2 factorial. 2 factorial equal to 2 times 1 factorial. So 1 factorial times 2 factorial equal to 1 factorial times 2 times 1 factorial. Then the next two items, 3 factorial times 4 factorial. 4 factorial equal to 4 times 3 factorial. So 3 factorial times 4 factorial equal to 3 factorial times 4 times 3 factorial. From these two groups result, we find 1 factorial times 1 factorial become a square. And the 3 factorial times 3 factorial is a square 2. After that, we group all the items as a 6 group. And the 1 factorial times 2 factorial equal to 1 factorial times 2 times 1 factorial. 3 factorial times 4 factorial equal to 3 factorial times 4 times 3 factorial. 5 factorial times 6 factorial equal to 5 factorial times 6 times 5 factorial. Then the rest of the three groups become 7 factorial times 8 times 7 factorial, 9 factorial times 10 times 9 factorial, 11 factorial times 12 times 11 factorial. Then 1 factorial times 1 factorial equal to 1 factorial square. 3 factorial times 3 factorial equal to 3 factorial square. So adjust this item become 1 factorial square times 2 times 3 factorial square times 4 times 5 factorial square times 6 times 7 factorial square times 8 times 9 factorial square times 10 times 11 factorial square times 12 adjust this item sequence that all the square items become a group as quantity 1 factorial times 3 factorial times 5 factorial times 7 factorial times 9 factorial times 11 factorial square. 
multiplies quantity 2 times 4 times 6 times 8 times 10 times 12. After that, try to generate another square from the second quantity. All of these items they have same factor 2, so 2 equal to 1 times 2, 4 equal to 2 times 4, 6 equal to 3 times 2, 8 equal to 4 times 2, 10 equal to 5 times 2, and 12 equal to 6 times 2. There are 6 2 multiplied together, it equal to 2 power 6, then time quantity 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. 5 times 6 and uh, 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 equal to 6 factorial. If we divide it by 6 factorial, then the item will become a square. So m factorial equal to 6 factorial, n equal to 6. That's the answer we find. Do you find them? Hope you to enjoy the video. Thank you.